Hello and welcome to GCSE and A Level Physics Online. My name is Anna and I'm a year 13 studying Maths, Further Maths, Physics and Economics. I am taking my A Levels at the moment. I have my own YouTube and study ground which should be linked down below. Today I am going to talk to you about how to revise physics. If you're in year 13 at the moment you will have already taken paper 1 and paper 2 um, but these tips may be useful for over half term as you're preparing for paper 3 or for anyone who is um, taking their A-levels in future. I've decided to split my revision tips into three categories, that is revision, consolidation and past papers. I do have notes here as well so that's why um, I'm looking down at these just to make sure I'm covering everything. So in the first section of revision, the first thing that I would recommend is making flashcards. These are my flashcards. Um, I actually cut um, big flashcards in half so I summarise the information more. My second revision tip is to use Seneca. I have the premium membership. I think it is super useful. Um, it is very summarised information but um, I think that is good if you know the content and you just want to go over it quickly. Because I have the premium membership I also use the hyper learning and night before features. I think these um, are good because they really summarise the information especially the night before your exam if you just want to quickly refresh your memory. The third aspect of this revision point is to use the videos on A Level Physics Online. I swear by these videos and um, if you haven't already go and subscribe to the A2 content if you're um, in year 12 going into year 30 it's good to see a different perspective of how someone else explains concepts sometimes that'll help you understand it more I know it does for me so I'd really recommend those. Second aspect of revision is consolidation so obviously with consolidation that includes going through your um, flashcards going through Seneca um, just to keep refreshing your memory repetitive learning but it also involves doing questions. I like to do end of chapter summary questions that are in my textbook. Whilst these are slightly more basic than exam questions they definitely help you identify what you do know and what you don't know. Another thing I'd recommend is Isaac Physics. These questions are similar to summary questions in terms of they are not quite exam questions I'd say. They're good for helping you identify areas you need to work on. Once you've identified areas you need to work on, I definitely recommend um, Physics and Maths Tutor. It is a website, um, they have lots of different subjects on there, but obviously we're talking about physics and on physics they have, they have revision notes if you're interested in that, they have past papers and they have questions by topic. So if you've identified a topic that you're struggling on, you can get a booklet of exam questions from that website that are focused on that topic and I think that is really good because that focuses on your exam skills as well. My final aspect of revision is using past papers because not only do these help you identify exactly what you know and what you don't know, you become familiar with how exam questions are asked and um, how the exam board wants you to answer these questions in the mark scheme because sometimes they want you to include specific words that you, even though you know the content you may just not have included a word and then you've lost a mark. Um, and it also gets you used to exam technique and doing things in timed conditions. Another point I want to add actually is to the revision aspect linked to past papers is learning your keywords. Keywords come up a lot in past papers and in examiner's reports. A lot of the time it says students haven't learnt their keywords properly. I did make a Quizlet revision set of keywords um, and you don't, need, don't focus your revision around keywords but make sure you're familiar with them. So if a question about a keyword comes up you can just answer it straight away it's easy marks it could be one or two marks it could be say up to six marks a paper if you don't know your definitions you've lost six marks that's six marks you could have gained on someone else linked to past papers as well I definitely recommend using examiner's reports if you're looking at an examiner's report and for one of the questions they've said loads of students got this right we're really surprised with how well they knew this then you know that they're unlikely to put that question in future years the questions you need to focus on are the ones where in the examiner's report they say that students didn't get it because they're likely to repeat this question in future exam boards do just regurgitate questions so the more past papers you do the more examiner's reports you read then the more likely you are to succeed because sometimes whilst you may know the content it is you do have to play the examiner's game and 
know what you need to write for the question. That is everything I wanted to include. Thank you so much for watching. Please do um, comment any other exam techniques that you have below because I really want to see those. I think it's useful for other people as well to see other people's exam techniques because mine might not necessarily help you. Please also subscribe to this channel and my channel which should be linked down below. I'd really appreciate that and like this video if you thought it was useful.